Mando short hops it, goes down to second. Green, whoa, is he taken out at second base by McCray? Watch Mando again. He's trying to get the lead runner. Now watch McCray. Green, a dead duck. Watch McCray once again. Had a good jump on the little topper. Now you can see him trying to get the angle, and the shortstop does not like this. That man should slide and not come in throwing a block. Boy, McCray took two or three short steps right before he got to the bag, and that's the way they played in the World Series. Won it all for them in 2010. Here's a chop to short, going to be tough to turn two. First and third, two out. Matt Holliday is one of the toughest sliders in the National League. On a high chopper like that, that gave him time to get down on top of Marco Scudero. He hit him very hard. And Bruce Bochy would be out to check on his star second baseman. Without Scudero, what would the Giants be? Ooh. Going all the way across the bag yeah. and yeah. taking out the left leg, which was pinned underneath the body of Holiday. A lot of guys. Boy, that was a crushing takeout right there. But a lot of second basemen who determine whether it's clean or not is, is he over the bag when he makes contact? Or is he in front of the bag? If he's in front of the bag, they can't complain. Over the bag, they can complain. And Holiday over the bag to take out Scudero. Close at first. Real yeah. running. Yeah. Amazing that Scudero could get anything on the throw. He's at the belt. One, two, pitch to Brett. Curveball bounced to Nettles at third to second. For one, and McCray takes, and now Protek is going to try to score, and he will score. And the ball game is tied. McCray knocked Randolph down, threw a rolling block on him, and while Randolph was on the ground, Potek scored from third base. And the ball game is tied, 1-1. One, one. Now, Billy Martin not arguing with second base umpire Marty Springstead. He's saying that McRae came out of the baseline and actually was out of the baseline when he knocked Randolph down after Randolph had touched up at second base. And Martin Springstead out arguing. But the score is tied 2-2. They get the force at second base. 5-4. Actually, Nettles had a lot of trouble getting that ball out of his glove. Had he gotten out right away, the Yankees might have had a chance to turn a double play. Randolph stood in there at second base, and Hal McCray threw a rolling block on him and knocked him behind second. And then McCray simply became entangled with Randolph. And while they're on the ground, Patek alertly scored from second base. So Brett is on at first. There are two outs. And the score is tied. Tied at four in the seventh inning. Off of Herrera's foot. And Moustakis Ooh, man. flips to second base. And a hard slide by Laurie into Alcides Escobar. Well, I'm not sure about that. Neither is the Royals. They've had enough. They've been hit more times than anybody in baseball, and now that, that was a late hard slide. You know, and it's an it's easy to fall back on. We're just playing the game hard. But there was no way in the world that the Royals were going to turn a double play right there. That there really is no place for a a takeout slide there 
unless you're trying to injure the infielder. That's your, I, I totally agree. I mean, you got to have a better feel than that. Yeah, and if, if I'm going into that base there, I'm going directly to the base. He's going to try to beat it. That was a borderline dirty slide. Hopefully Escobar is going to be all right. They think that Laurie may have been safe. I think the first question has been answered. Laurie did beat the throw to second base, but he went over the bag, and it appeared that Escobar may have made contact with his glove while he was off the bag. Yep, that's probably what, what's taking him so long. He's out. And there might have been a riot here tonight if Laurie had been called safe and went back out to second base. The call stands. So as I was suggesting that the call was not confirmed. So the call stands.